Adam School. Is she here? She's not here yet. Okay. Where? Yuval. <laughs> okay. So uh, Yuval is here. Everything is okay. And Yuval will talk about the right of every child to live with his family and about children that doesn't do so. Yuval. Hello, my name is Yuval Wilman. I am from Hadar School. Today I represent Vietnam. Vietnam is a big, beautiful country in South Asia. It is home to the biggest cave in the world, to wonderful land sites and a rich culture. Its capital is Hanoi and it is a socialist republic. By the way, did you know that teachers get special respect in Vietnam? Every year on November 20, students express gratitude and respect to their teachers and celebrate that day at schools with fun activities such as singing and dancing. The right that I will talk about today is Article 18 from the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Sanitary countries shall make every effort to ensure that all children will grow and develop with their parents or the adults who are responsible for them. My research question is, are there children in Vietnam that don't live with their parents? What happens to those children? Most children in Vietnam often live with their families until they are married and do not leave home when they are 18 and considered as adults like most countries. A typical Vietnamese family includes the parents, children, grandparents, and sometimes even aunts and uncles that will share one household. Despite that, poverty and other social issues like domestic abuse or family crisis have caused thousands of children to go to work and in extreme cases end up living in the streets. In Vietnam, children who live or work on the streets are often called bui doi, which means children of the dust or the dust of life. Street children have been described by government officials as one of the negative problems arising from changes in the country's economy. These children will suffer from lack of proper education, proper health, and can even be victims of abuse. Here is a quote from a child in Hanoi that is taken from an interview with three children way back from 2005. I don't want to be a shoe shiner, but I can't do anything else. I have to do it to help my family. The Ministry of Labor, Invalids, and Social Affairs, MOLISA, M-O-L-I-S-A, estimated years back in 2009 that there were about 23,000 street children throughout Vietnam and 1,500 in Hanoi. Today, these numbers may have decreased. In Hanoi, street children work in parks, markets, bus and train stations, near temples and tourist attractions, while some support themselves by pickpocketing from shops, many earn a living by selling newspapers, postcards, and lottery tickets, begging, shiny shoes, and working in the markets. The primary occupation for boys is shoe shining, for girls is street vending. Living in the streets causes children to face many problems. They do not get sufficient health care, sometimes have no roof over their heads, and get no protection from abuse or violence and mainly they do not live with their families as they should. Several ministries and departments are responsible for protecting street children in Vietnam, making efforts to reunite them with their families. The Department of Labor, Invalids, and Social Affairs, DOLISA, or D-O-L-I-S-A, and local people's committees are also responsible for care and protection of street children. This includes establishment and administration of social protection centers. In my eyes, the Delisa is doing a good job in recent years to help the children. And yet there are more challenges in helping them and protecting their rights for a family, for education, for protection, health, and for developing as children. We as students in Israel should also be aware of, everything, of everywhere we go if we see young children working and be responsible to report it to our parents and teachers. Thank you for listening.